Every animal needs some kind of home, and some species make spectacular ones. Take a close look at these balls of earth, which occur in a variety of sizes and heights within trees. Not only do they give shelter, they also provide food. Guess whose homes they are? You're right, ants. Ants make their colonies here and act as gardeners by bringing seeds inside. Once the seeds germinate, seedlings grow on the outside, ultimately producing fruits for the ants to eat. The plants that grow in these ant gardens are called epiphytes because they live on top of other plants, separated from the soil. Here in this dry forest near Cali, Colombia, as well as in other tropical forests, you can find an ant that cultivates at least five species of epiphytes. When they grow, the plants give structural support to the ant garden, binding the colony with their roots, which protects the ants from rain and other disturbances. The plants also produce fleshy fruits, which the ants eat. I wonder, could that be why the ants carry seeds to their gardens, C kind of like human farmers selecting just the right seeds to sow? The plants that the ants cultivate benefit by having their seeds dispersed, planted, and fertilized. In addition, the ants vigorously patrol the small plants that grow in their gardens, defending them at any cost. Note that the seeds are not selected randomly. Scientists have discovered that the ants will only carry seeds to their gardens if they have a special chemical signal. What do you say we do an experiment to test our hypothesis? What do you think? It took a while for the ants to pick up the seeds with their mandibles and take them to their gardens, but in the end, they did it. We never cease to be amazed at the capacity ants have in selecting and transporting just the kinds of seeds that they want to cultivate. For millions of years in a variety of habitats and continents, ants have been successful architects and farmers. Being small is not a problem when you can work efficiently as a team.